Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another crocheting video. I started a series recently where I showed you the very basics, how to make a slip knot, a chain, some single crochet, and then I did another video for double crochet. But I'm anxious to just jump right in and actually start making some blocks. What I would like to do as part of my crocheting series is make a bunch of blocks, probably like, I don't know, like six inches square-ish. I will show you different stitches for those blocks, and then when I have enough blocks, I would put them together for a little scrappy afghan kind of thing, a patchwork afghan, so that those blocks that I make are not gone to waste. So let's just get started. I am going to show you how to do the seed stitch. I do it probably a little bit differently than other instructions you will find, but it's going to use both single crochet and double crochet. That's all you need to know. It is very easy to do, and it's a very good stitch for using 100% cotton yarn and making dishcloths, and I have some of that, so we'll be making some dishcloths together, I'm sure. My plan is to try to get approximately six inch blocks, and I don't worry if they're a little bit bigger or smaller. When I put them together and crochet an edge around them and stuff, it always all just works out. I have switched to a bigger hook. I was using an I or size nine in my other tutorials, so now I have a ten and a half or K is what it is called, and we're just going with that. And I tested it, and it looks like I can get about three stitches per inch with this baby. So I'm going to do, hmm, I'm going to say 19. I will show you again. I did want to show you how I make the slip knot, but do go catch up with the other videos that I have. The playlist link will be down below. For the seed stitch, you want to work an even number, so you need an odd number in your chain because you need one for the turning around. So the chain has to be an odd number. I'm just taking the yarn and going around my finger, pushing the yarn through, and there's my little slip knot. And I'm going to make a chain 19 stitches long. Two, three, four, eighteen, nineteen. Now I'm just going to see for the heck of it about how wide this is. Yeah, we're coming in. That's going to actually stretch. That's going to be probably more like 7 inches. Let's cut it back at least 2. So I'm going to take 1, 2 out. So that gives me 17. So we'll be working 16 stitches. We'll give that a try. So you just want an odd number on your chain. Now you're going to start in the very first V. Not the V where the yarn is coming out of, but the next one. We're just going to do a single crochet. So you go in, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through both. That is a single crochet. In the next one, we're doing a double crochet. So you yarn over first, in, pull up, you go through two, and you go through two. Single crochet, and now double crochet. Whoops. And that's all we're going to do all the way across. Single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. And, you know, try to recognize your stitches. Like, if you put this down and you come back and say, oh, I don't remember where I left off. Well, you can see this is a single crochet here. See how short it is? This is a double crochet, so I know I have to do a single crochet next. And a double crochet next. Now, do realize that at this point, you know, I'm assuming that you know how to do your single and double. I'm not going to be, like, you know, explaining everything for every single video because I want to knock out some blocks. But do go see the basics at the beginning. So, single crochet. And I'm just going to get to the end here. Double. 
and I won't be doing everything in this color. <laughs> it's just the color I chose for tutorials because I thought you might be able to see it good, not too dark, not too light, but I will be making the blocks a variety of colors. Single and double, and the way I do it, we end on a double. And we're going to just chain one and turn. And that's how it's going to be for every single row. And the same thing, we're always going to start with the single crochet and you want to go under the whole V. So we're going to do a single crochet, double crochet under the V, under the V, single crochet, under the V. It, you feel it. Once you get used to this, you can just, you know, put your hook where you see that bump and it'll go right through. Double. So what we're actually doing is wherever there was a double crochet in the other direction is where we're putting a single crochet. And then we're putting a double crochet into the single crochet. Got a little thread going on there. Okay, so single. And we end with a double. If you would happen to end with a single, then you know you might have skipped something along the way. What I like about making afghans by making blocks is if you screw up and you realize that you're, you know, you've done something wrong, it's not like you have to take apart big long rows. It's, you know, pretty easy to rip out a row or two and just start over. Also, if you are making something big and you find a mistake and you're like suddenly short a stitch, you can just go ahead and add a stitch and I'll, you know, I can show you how to do that. It's generally not best to add it on the edge because it makes the edge weird, but you can just like do two single crochets in one spot just to get back up to par and, you know, nobody is going to be investigating. Now I have a feeling this is going to be a little bit bigger than six inches. Well, you know, not too bad. So I'm just going with this, and I will try to make my other blocks match this for my little scrappy afghan. So do you remember now what you have to do? Chain one and turn. And it's going to be single, double, single, double, all the way across, and another chain one and turn. So I'm just going to do a couple of rows and I have a camera like directly in front of me and I have to be doing this with my head tilted. It's not comfortable. I need a better setup. But I'm going to um, do one more row with you just because I miss you so much. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish the block off camera and then I will come back and show you, you know, how I finish it up. So if you want to follow along and do the series with me, I will do my very, very best to not drop the ball on this series. <laughs> I have a feeling I'll be okay with this one. And I might, you know, decide that I need more of the same pattern. Like I might make some, you know, two or three seed stitch. And, but my plan is to mix colors and mix stitches all in the same afghan. So now I'm at the end, chain one, and I'm just going to go ahead and finish up and I will show you what it looks like when I'm about six inches tall. I have one more row to make and I wanted to show you that I consider this the right side when I have my little starting piece of yarn here to the right and then I'm going to end with the, you know, and cut and tie off on the left and that means I will have an even number of rows so I have just one more row and that's going to bring me to about six inches I already did my chain one so I'm just going to continue to finish this row single double single double that's all we did all the way across and you really get to the swing of things you know once you're on a roll 
I just actually, you know, went and watched TV while I worked on this. Making blocks for quilts, uh, it's just so nice. You can just, you know, have a little tote bag with you, and if you have to go sit in an office or a doctor's appointment or something like that, you can just bring it with you and make a block while waiting. I keep getting tangled up. I've actually crocheted on a plane. Whoops. And it's a good way to have a very colorful afghan without doing a lot of yarn changing. You know what I mean? You don't have to have all these yarn ends to tie. Each block will be a different pattern and a different color. Maybe some repeat patterns, but and maybe some repeat colors, depending on how big you want it. Okay, so we're at the end. I'm going to do a double crochet. I am going to just cut my yarn and pull it through. And that's it. And I have my first block for my scrappy patchwork type afghan. And it's, uh, you know, certain yarns have certain feels. I don't have the wrapper on this one, but I'm sure it's just an acrylic yarn. It's a four-ply like you would get at any yarn store. I mean, obviously, you can pay more and get some very soft yarns. I'm just using what we have. Let me back up a little bit so I can show you the block. And again, if you use 100% cotton, what's it called? Peaches and cream or something like that? There's the, a brand of 100% cotton. Well, I'm sure there's more than one. This makes an awesome dishcloth. And this is almost a good size. If you wanted it a little bit bigger, you could probably, you know, use the same hook that I used, which is a K or a ten and a half. And what did we start with? A chain of 17? Yes. So, you know, you might want to do like maybe 21 or something, make it a little bit bigger. So go ahead and practice the seed stitch. See how nice it is? It's just a little bit puffy on both sides. I very much like it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe because I will be back with another little crocheted block soon. Bye!